Hey guys, I am Murali. I hope you are all doing well. My intention for this channel is to share my knowledge and also learn from others. So let's collaborate. You can now send a request for payment or a P in payments. But what is request for payments? Assume that you have sold some goods to a person ABC. Now you would want to ask for a money as an exchange for the goods you sold. It would be so easy if you and the person ABC are present physically because all you have to do is ask. Whereas when it comes to online payments, how can you ask person ABC to make a payment to you? You can't, at least a year ago. But now, fortunately, this feature is being implemented in the payment industry and Fednow also has it. This feature allows an user to submit a request for payment filled with desired amount, account number and bank details of the person ABC. Your bank will route this request to that person ABC's bank and that person will have to take a decision whether to accept or reject this request. A response of this decision will be communicated back to your bank and eventually your bank will communicate to you. In case person ABC decides to honor this request, then you will get a credit transfer, meaning you received your money. I hope this concept is clear to you. Let's try to understand how banks are handling this feature. As usual, this feature also would follow an ISO 2022 message based communication. So when you submit your RFP request, your bank will generate a paint 13 message and send it to that person ABC's bank via Fedno service. Once this paint 13 reaches to the bank, they will notify person ABC. If person ABC agrees to pay you, then credit transfer message that is PAX008 will be initiated to your bank instructing to credit your account with the amount you had requested in PIN13. Also one more message PIN14 would be sent to your bank when your RFP is reached to other bank. This PIN14 message is being used as a response for RFP request. It has the certain response codes using which it informs the status of your RFP request in the other bank. Before we move on to those status codes, I have a question for you. Who is a debtor and creditor in the PIN13 message? Please comment below. Okay, coming back to the status codes. First one is RCVD, received. Your PIN13 RFP request is received by the person ABC's bank. PRES, presented to the debtor. ACTC, accepted. RJCT, rejected. So, when you send PIN13 message, it is not guaranteed that you will receive a money from the other party. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something from it. Please leave your thoughts as a comments. I'll read and reply to you. Thank you for watching till the end and see you in the next video. Bye bye.